In this video I'm going to show you how to install XPMC on a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi is a small computer that is basically the size of a phone. So there's a few things you're going to need. I recommend that you have an 8GB SD card because then you can use it for other things. And to get XPMC on your Raspberry Pi, just go to raspbmc.com download. Then click on the appropriate one for UOS. So I'm using Windows. And then I'm just gonna move the camera up so I can click on download. Save the file, and then when it's downloaded, just extract the setup.exe from that folder, and then just run it. Click accept, and then double check the SD card that you want to install XPMC onto. So I've checked this already and I'm just going to accept the license agreement and click install. Now this will just start downloading the Raspberry MC files. After it's done that, it will say that it's successfully installed onto your SD card. And now all you need to do is prepare your Raspberry Pi. So just plug in your SD card and then you'll want to plug in your HDMI cable or whatever you're using to connect it up to your screen. Then you'll want to plug in a keyboard and you'll want to plug in a mouse. Then just plug in your ethernet cable because it will need this to connect to your network and the internet. So then when you're ready to power it on, just plug in your micro, micro USB cable and it will start up. You'll get this welcome to Raspberry MC screen and it's going to tell you that it's going to take about half an hour. It tells you that you can look at the FF FAQ if you have problems and it's going to start formatting the partitions. Then you can just leave it and check back on it in about half an hour. So after it's finished formatting, it's going to download the file system and it says you could grab a coffee or you could eat an apple. Then it's going to say that it was installed successfully and it's going to boot up. Then it's just going to set it up and it's just going to download the kernel and then it will download XPMC and set it up. So it's just finished installing, installing the kernel and it's just updating the services now. And now it's just downloading XBMC. This process has been sped up so you don't have to watch it for ages. And there you go, it's now finished and your Raspberry XBMC box is finally done. And now you could spend £25 on this instead of spending £100 on an Apple TV and then jailbreaking it. So just going to ask you what language you want to use and then you can browse the files. I haven't really used XBMC before so I'm just having a look around it but hopefully I'll get to grips with it and I'll start using it. So, what you want to do to add AirPlay to your Raspberry Pi is go on to Settings, Services, make sure you double click because otherwise it won't come up. I'm not double clicking here obviously, there we go. And you'll want to go on to AirPlay and then you want to click on Allow AirPlay to receive X3MC. Well, I said that wrong but you get the idea. And that is it, thanks for watching and please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.